Thanks for joining us today. My name is Alexander Galarraga, and I'm the partner and lead strategist at Booking Success. I'd like to welcome you to the International Luxury Hotel Association's webinar from the Inspire Conference on Redefining Brands for a Next-Gen Market, a keynote by Faisal Jaffer, who is a global head of LXR Hotels and Resorts and Hilton Hotels. Today's webinar is brought to you by Booking Success, and I would like to briefly tell you about how booking success helps hotels drive more profitable bookings. I will share my screen now to share a presentation. Booking success helps hotels reduce third-party dependency, reduce commissions, increase occupancy, and increase rates. We do this through our proven process helping you make decisions based on data, not guts. We offer tools and frameworks that simplify your marketing decisions and also your rate decisions. And we provide ongoing audits and coaching so you always know what to do next. And so that you also identify issues that are going on in your business, often without you knowing otherwise. And in that process, we help you drive more revenue and profit and get less stress in the process. We apply our direct booking multipliers to achieve direct booking revenue, because of course, everybody wants more direct booking revenue, but in order to achieve that, we need more visitors to our website. We, meet, we need more of them to actually go to our booking engine to check out our rates. We need more of those people that are converting and actually creating a transaction and we need the, those transactions to be at a value that is as high as possible. Of course, each of these uh, key performance indicators, as we call them, or KPIs, is influenced by so many different pillars or, or, or strategies that you need to have in place so that you can have them at the best possible level. Also, by looking at thousands of properties uh, over the last few years, we know exactly where you should be as a property in terms of visitors, look to book rate, uh, conversion rate, and average booking value. So we are constantly bench benchmarking our clients against the market to see where you are compared to where you should be and help you create a plan to, to improve on the, the key performance indicators where you are not as strong as you should be. Everyone who attends this audit uh, is eligible for receiving a, K a free KPI audit. Of course, you need to be a, a hotel in order or a resort in order to receive this. Uh, this KPI audit is valued at $750. The only thing you need to do is send an email to me, alex at bookingsuccess.com with a subject free audit Include your name and your job title, hotel name, and number of rooms, and I will arrange that you have this KPI audit uh, executed for your property, so you know exactly which steps you need to take. While we execute this K KPI audit for you, you will see exactly how your website visitors are performing and also what is driving these website visitors. So you will know exactly which strategies are working and are not working for you. The same for look to book ratio, conversion ratio, and the average, average booking value. So you know exactly what to take, what steps to take next. So once you take uh, us on for this free marketing audit, of course, which is at no risk to you, it just takes a few minutes of your time. Uh, you will identify your direct booking KPIs, identify weak pillars that are limit, limiting your revenue, identify how to increase direct bookings, and you will have a clear action plan on what steps to take next. So that was our presentation. Thank you for listening to our introduction. And now Faisal Jaffer will talk about redefining brands for a next-gen market. Thank you. Wonderful to be in Santa Monica and even better at ILHA in person, talking to you all, not through a screen, but seeing and greeting the familiar faces of industry friends and colleagues. It's a real privilege to be here. I am Fa Faisal Jaffer, global head of LXR Hotels and Resorts, a collection of independent luxury properties that are part of the Hilton ecosystem. 
This morning, I'd like to discuss a topic that I'm particularly passionate about and something that informs decisions that we make every day, which is redefining brands for the next generation consumer. More specifically, I'd like to share how we believe brands should be connecting with consumers to remain relevant in an ever-changing and evolving landscape of preferences, industry trends, technology innovation, travel regulations, and more. I learned early in my career that's, all, that's usually just about three things. So in that tradition, I'll focus on three principles that have served me in my time in the, in the industry, as well as most recently in building the LXR brand. So how do brands connect with consumers and stay relevant? Strong storytelling, one. Creating an emotional connection through brand purpose, two. And three, offering bespoke and unforgettable experiences. But before we get into that, I'll give you a little background on how I got here. My career began in technology startups, which as we know often strive to disrupt. Even if the t term is a tad bit overused today, I see disruption generally as a good thing and inspires a mindset that I hope to embody. Entrepreneurial, excited, inspired by change, and looking for in innovation across industries, travel, hospitality, design, fashion, media, and technology. Those early startup experiences helped shape me as a problem solver and as someone who looks at situations with a what-if attitude, playing ambiguous scenarios of change through my head. I eventually made my way to the hospitality world at host hotels and resorts. And then Pontiac Land Group, a luxury real estate developer and owner of the renowned Capella Hotels and Resorts. My time with them was truly profound. For several years, along with some incredibly talented colleagues, I had the pleasure and privilege of developing once-in-a-lifetime projects, one of which was the Fari Islands in the Maldives, a project that was disrupted that destination in the best possible way, and a development I was fortunate enough to lead. So when the opportunity arose to work with luxury hospitality on a global scale, alongside similarly inspired people around the world, as difficult as it was for me to leave Pontiac Land and Capella, I had to take it for a few reasons. Space in the market. I appreciated the need for a luxury brand that embraced the individuality of each hotel, yet gave them global distribution firepower and scale. Having worked at a relatively small luxury hotel company with incredible one-of-a-kind hotels, I knew that giving hotels like those scale and distribution without changing what made them special in the first place was a powerful idea. Brand ethos, the independent luxury ethos behind LXR resonated with me. A brand devoted to the timeless pursuit of personal adventure, something very dear to my heart. To add to that, with just one hotel at the time, it was a real startup opportunity, which had a special meaning for me. And yet it was backed by Hilton. And three, connecting with the next generation consumer. I identified with the target audience and felt that it would allow me to align my passion, my work, with an evolving consumer need. This segment, who we call the intrigued adventurer, is a sophisticated global traveler who is not satisfied with institutional expressions of luxury, but is instead looking for more authentic, individual, and bespoke experiences. So in a nutshell, one-of-a-kind hotels rooted in their destination. It doesn't get any better than that for me. I was given the freedom to create and launch a brand, bring it to sought-after destinations around the world, appeal to sophisticated global luxury travelers of today, as well as those of tomorrow, and hopefully the day after that. So now how would we go about doing that? To answer this question, I'll return to the three principles that I mentioned earlier, storytelling, purpose, and memories, that are integral in defining a brand at its core, which is designed very much for the next generation consumer. Storytelling, in our parlance, means creating deep and meaningful narratives that are centered on authenticity, inclusion, and intrigue. Ex experienced through multiple dimensions and channels, through marketing, public relations, social media, the on-property experience, this is essential to connecting with the next generation consumer. 
Each LXR property has a different narrative, a different identity. It's a story unique to the location, the design, style, programming, and the people who deliver that experience, as Chris pointed out. Roku Kyoto in Japan is our latest resort. We just opened in September at the foothills of the Takagamine Mountains. I hope I got that right. Next to a nature reserve and part of an enclave with beautiful gardens and ancient tea houses. Roku was designed to complement its natural surroundings. The hotel experience integrates Japanese traditions and cultural practices into the guest experience. Its brand pillars are commitment to uninhabited Japanese beauty and culture rooted in the locale. The Roku name itself is firmly rooted in the place and has two meanings, one of which is very literal, as it means at the foothills of a mountain, and the other has historical and cultural references, as it's derived from the traditional Japanese craft of washi paper making. And it again ties to its unique location because the water from the stream that runs through the site was used to make washi paper. In the 15th century, this area used to be an artist colony where a whole style of Japanese painting was born. So through the environment, architecture, design, artwork, lines, land, lighting, landscape, service, and programming, the words natural, simple, seamless, traditional are wo woven throughout. The guest journey, inclusive of a traditional tea ceremony to become one with your natural surroundings and a, an appreciation of the traditional Japanese craft work woven throughout the hotel design and decor, dining on the fresh, freshest produce, strolling idyllic gardens, or engaging in a washi paper making workshop. All these touch points help form a narrative unique to this place and time. Despite the devastating toll the pandemic has taken on our industry. These past few months have been some of the most active for our brand. And we've been able to tell the LXR stor brand story in the meta sense, to reclaim a word that's been recently co-opted by our friends in the North. With significant growth this year, we were able not only to tell the individual stories of our hotels and resorts, but start weaving them back into the meta narrative of the LXR brand itself symbolized visually by the different colored threads that you see woven around the X in our logo. Providing purpose. Once a brand can articulate its unique story, the next step is solidifying an emotional connection with your consumer through establishing a brand purpose. Again, Chris, Chris beat me to this, and I, I, but I think it's, it's critical. Um, we all know this purpose for the next generation of consumers is synonymous with, synonymous with experience. It's not about money or things. Purpose-driven travel is ranking higher and higher in motivation for travel and contributes to a more positive overall experience. Connecting with the next-gen consumer means t creating a brand that's tied to a cause larger than itself. It gives back. It engages with local communities. It finds ways to better not only itself, but the lives of people and the environment which, with, with which it engages every day. Travelers today will tell you that a hotel that creates an emotional connection to the destination, whether through engaging with the local community or giving back to that community, i.e. providing that purpose, will highly influence their decisions to return to one hotel over another. LXR is inspiring and intensifying our approach to travel with purpose with every new hotel that opens. An example can be seen at Susona Bodrum, a resort on the Aegean coast of Turkey. To support local businesses and help preserve traditional practices, the hotel offers experiential excursions to some of the most historic villages around. To experience traditional craftsmanship, for example, around carpet making or Bodrum's famous le handmade leather sandals. In addition to increasing business for these artisans, guests enjoy an authentic, authentic experience that they'll never forget such as the sandals that they made themselves. On the culinary front, this executive chef prides himself on sourcing the finest ingredients from farmers and purveyors located within a certain radius around the hotel, including some grown on property itself. And the food and beverage has some of the highest guest experience scores across all our luxury hotels in Europe and Middle East. We joke with him that we'll tighten the radius every year to continue to challenge him. Through him, we learned that when the Suez Canal was built, it disrupted the marine ecosystem with the introduction of a predator fish called the lionfish that came through the canal. 
The lionfish was not typically eaten in the area, so our chef put lionfish ceviche on, on the menu to introduce, to introduce guests to it, but also to build awareness and, around protecting the environment. And finally, the bath amenities are a wonderful line made by an apothec that's over 120 years old, and the amenities are scented with mandarin oranges from Bodrum itself. Our value lies in the individuality of our hotels and their independent nature to create unique experiences. So we encourage each hotel to find their own way to engage with the local community and develop meaningful programs. No two properties are the same, so no two will have the same purpose though they will all tie back to the community, to people, and pull that through to guests and team members. Memorable experiences. Finally, what will stay with guests beyond their visits and ensure their return to your hotels are the memories they created while they were traveling. It's a common place that with the ubiquity of digital communication, word of mouth, is more important than before. Travelers of all ages and socioeconomic status plan their next trip based on what they see on social media. And while sophisticated tra travelers are more discerning, there's no doubt a guest will share their positive memories through social media as well as in-person conversation. So we need to be a part of those on and offline conversations. A few things that we believe are key in ensuring a memorable guest experience. First, authentic and locally immersive experiences. This is so integral to what we do. And what we have found is to empower our teams on property to think through and provide for their guests. Like what I just related about our team in Bodrum, it wasn't cooked up in some corporate office. The individuality of our properties allows each team to let the destination's culture and history inform how these experiences look and feel. Second, the, an unrelenting attention to detail, for example, with respect to design. Design is where we really tell a story and create a visually stunning experience for guests who, as we know, capture and share experiences through visual mediums. Attention to design at properties such as Crockford's Las Vegas or Dubai's Haptur Palace Vegas and Dubai share a maximalist, over-the-top opulence that transports you instantly. In stark contrast, Roku, Kyoto, complements the natural beauty surrounding it through a brilliant study in textured minimalism. Oceana here in Santa Monica was designed as your dream beach home. The thoughtful attention to design at our properties is integral in telling each hotel's story and creating those memories. And finally, by empowering team members to deliver at the highest level and giving them the autonomy and confidence to do it consistently, the service level and guest experience is exponentially better. We strive for this across our properties. When your team has a strong sense of purpose, again following from Chris, are empowered to make decisions to create unforgettable experiences for their guests and are acknowledged for it. That's when memories are made. Our little resorts in Seychelles and Bodrum have not only some of the highest average rates in the region, but also some of the highest guest experience scores and the most glowing testimonials, which is an acknowledgement of the teams helping create those memories. With all that said, I'd be remiss not to mention how the last 20 months have affected the way we've had to brand and market to guests in the face of constantly changing travel restrictions and evolving customer experiences and behavior. At the same time, I feel confident that we've developed a brand that can meet the needs of an increasingly non-traditional luxury consumer, a traveler to whom Bespoke experiences trump, trump material goods, and purposeful brands command loyalty rather than unachievable exclusivity and ast astronomical price points. When we talk about exclusivity, it's not about the velvet rope. It's not about how you dress. It's, it's, it's exclusive to that property because you could only have that experience at that place at that time and through, through that team that's offering it to you. 
And it's a vote of confidence that we're still expanding globally. Throughout the pandemic, both consumers and owners were looking to brands they, they trusted. And LXR, backed by Hilton, provided that trust. To allow in hotels and resorts to be independent together is, is a true differentiator. And it became more appealing to owners and developers during the pandemic. In just the last year, we more than doubled our portfolio, adding magical destinations such as Kyoto and Seychelles. Established ourselves a few doors down from here in Santa Monica, in the sunny city of Seattle and Las Vegas. Our growing pipeline with several recent signings in the Middle East established LXR as a truly global brand. Yet brand awareness and growth doesn't mean we're finished developing and redefining the brand. As our target consumer continues to evolve, so will we. LXR remains a work in progress and may be for a while. The work, as they say, is never done. As we continue to add hotels with unique stories and histories, our narrative will evolve as well. What I believe will not change is how we connect with consumers in an ever-evolving world creating an emotional connection with brand purpose, offering bespoke and unforgettable experiences. Thank you.